Hi everyone, this is Achilles from Axar Software and today I would like to show you two exciting new features that we have added into our KSR plugin. Uh, the first is a stepper and the second is a scale quantizer. So I'm just going to begin with a stepper. So uh, if you click here, you can switch between the arpeggiator modes Sorry. <laughs> right? So this is the arpeggiator mode. And then when I click on the button that says step, I'm transferred to the stepper uh, mode. And the stepper mode is actually a step sequencer. Okay, let me take out the scale quantizer so I can add it later. Um, so what happens is that I've got 16 steps here and I can control the, the pitch of every step com um, relative to the root note that I play on the keyboard. So if I play a C and I put that to minus 12, then it becomes a C one octave lower, one octave higher, one minor third higher one minor third lower and so on, right? So I have um, written a pretty random pattern here. I can play it in reverse. or ping pong, forward, backwards. I can increase the probability and the variance of another pitch happening. And I can also adjust the number of steps. Or the active step, so I can create more rhythmically diverse patterns. So uh, the stepper is an interesting new addition because I can make more uh, rhythmically and more uh, interesting patterns with pitch. And uh, in addition to the stepper, we have now added a step quantizer, uh, sorry, scale quantizer. So what's exactly a scale quantizer? The way that it works is that uh, you choose a root node and you also choose uh, one of the scales or modes that are available. So there are 15 of them uh, and, you know, in addition to, to the root node. So what happens is that uh, the system will take uh, any pitch that the stepper plays or the arpeggiator that also applies to the arpeggiator and it will uh, quantize it to the nearest pitch that belongs to that particular scale. So if I choose uh, C minor as my chosen scale, So what happens is that uh, no matter what I pitch I play or what uh, sort of pitch um, the particular step is, the quantizing makes sure that every node is going to uh, belong to the scale and the root node that I have chosen. In, in that case, the C uh, natural minor. So there is a selection of uh, 15 different scales. I'm just going to 
go quickly through them and see how they sound. The other interesting thing is that uh, I can also change the root of the scale so that's uh, going to transpose chromatically the whole scale, right? So um, I can create uh, interesting harmonic effects like that, for example. <laughs> So I can use a combination of uh, chromatic and diatonic transposition in order to uh, make all sorts of uh, complicated modulations and stuff. The, the last thing is the a small button here that uh, it activates the retrigger mode. So you will notice that the stepper is actually synchronized to the host clock and um, it's uh, sort of, uh, it's got its internal clock running. So when you hit a note, when you change the note, uh, it's not gonna necessarily change, uh, hit the first step again. It's not gonna play from the first step again, uh, unless if you activate the retrigger mode. So if you're in retrigger mode, uh, that's active, then you can, um, with every uh, key you press, the step sequence is gonna start again uh, from top. So, uh, last thing, let me try the scale quantizer with the arpeggiator, see how it plays out. So I'm gonna uh, play a C minor chord and see how it reacts to different scales and root notes. Okay, uh, <laughs> that goes to too few notes. Perhaps I can try with uh, some more, like a tetra chord. Okay, yeah. So the last thing to note here is that uh, because of the fact that uh, the scale or a mode can contain, or it's almost certain that it will contain less than 12 pitches, there is the possibility that uh, two pitches can map to one pitch in the new scale or mode. So you, you will get some notes repeating if you have, like for example, an F and an F sharp, uh, it can be quite often it maps to, to one page in the new node. Uh, yeah, so um, stepper mode and uh, scale quantization. 
These are two new features that we have added to our KSR plugin, which is available for Mac OS, Windows, and uh, iOS, both iPad and iPhone. You will find the link in the description. Uh, there is a 14 day free trial if you want to try on the desktop. And uh, yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Have a nice day.